the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Christ indeed is our light that shines in the darkness of any difficulty. So let us place our trust in him and know that he is rich in mercy and forgiveness. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor, the Father Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are our hope and our salvation, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to eternal, attain eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this. You who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will dis diminish the ephah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord. A 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth, I am not lying teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, a rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is it, what is it that I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig. I am ashamed to beg. I know that what I will do. When I am removed from the stewardship, they may, those may, may welcome me into their homes. And so he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for 50. Then to another, the steward said, and you, how much do you owe? He replied, 100 cores of wheat. The steward said to him, here is your promissory note. Write one for 80. And the master commended that dishonored steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. The Gospel of the Lord. You remember last week with the story of the prodigal son, we heard those words of the father to the elder son who protested that his young brother came back and the father killed the fatted lamb and he did not do anything for him. And so the father said to him in reply, but you have to understand I'm always with you. Everything I have is yours. Right on the heels, of those words of the Father. We hear this parable today of a steward who represents those situations in our lives in which we feel that our back is against the wall, that we've run out of all sorts of options, for he is about to be dismissed. And so today Jesus helps us understand what it means for us to really hear and understand the words of the Father to us, that he's always with us. Everything he has is ours. As we confront these intractable situations in life, some 
that are very difficult. You notice, first of all, that this steward is wise enough to look around him and see that the problem is much bigger than his dismissal because he also has those who are around him that he can go to who will take him in once he's dismissed. He realizes that he has friends. He's not facing this all alone. It's so very easy in life whenever we come across a situation in which we have our back against the wall that we think that we're all alone. And yet it's important to remember that the Lord has given us people around us that can help us in those difficulties. I always like that scene from It's a Wonderful Life with George Bailey. It dawns on him at the end that even though he forgot about it, his friends rallied to support him in a moment of need. He only needed to be reminded of that before thinking about taking his life. The second thing that we see here about this steward is that he also uses great imagination. He takes those promissory notes and reduces them in a way that allows him to befriend or ingratiate himself to those who will receive him after he's dismissed. The Lord also, in moments of difficulty, gives us the ability to be creative and imaginative. I think I shared with you some time ago about those high school students who wanted to do something for people who were homeless on the street. And one young man decided that he was going to do something very creative. He went around and got beauticians and people in beauty parlors to allow these women who were on the street to come in and have their nails done, their hair done, a facial, so that they would be able to have a sense of respect. Here was a very intractable situation, and yet he was so very creative. The final thing we see is that the owner of the property, who is the boss of the steward, commends him for doing what he did, even though he was shortchanged. It's a reminder that God is on our side. In those moments in which we think that we're all alone, God is there with us. And so if we ever find ourselves in those difficult situations, let's also remember that there are people around us who are willing to help, if only we ask. That the Lord has given us the ability to be creative and imaginative in getting out of those difficulties and maybe seeking new ways in life that we never thought possible before. And finally, all along, that God is on our side. He's pulling for us. Or as St. Paul says, if God is for us, who can be against us? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Responding to God's word to seek creative ways in bringing Christ to the world, we offer these petitions. For the church, that we may be good stewards of the gifts that God has given us, use them for God's glory, and never be possessed by our possessions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together to protect the gifts of God's creation by caring for our common home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For seminarians studying at Mundelein Seminary, that they will know that we walk with them as we respond generously to supporting their preparation to be priests of this archdiocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, that they may be cared for and given resources to help them in their difficulty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, give us the grace of imagination to seek ways to wisely use the gifts you have given us so that all may be brought to the banquet of life through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my brother bishops, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. You take away the rest of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. an act of spiritual communion. My dear Jesus, I be believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, unite myself wholly to you. Never allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may have noticed we had two young men who were doing the lecturing today. They're seminarians, part of our program of seminary formation. Uh, Jose and Greg are with us today on an occasion in which we make an appeal to all of you to support our seminarians in the archdiocese. As you know, these young men step away from regular jobs and uh, their uh, also other obligations uh, in order to dedicate themselves to study for the priesthood, to prepare themselves to minister to you and your families in the future. And so today, I invite you to match their uh, sacrifice by giving generously to the collection. You will see a, a short video clip at the end of Mass that details more information about this collection and how you're able to donate to it. Please support them. They're young men who uh, plan to give their lives for service of the church, uh, service of you and your families. 
and it's important for them to know of our support. Thank you for being generous. And as I said in the gospel today with the homily, the words of the father to the elder son should ring in our hearts whenever we have difficulties in life, in which he says to us, I'm always with you. Everything I have is yours. So my hope is that you will find inspiration in those words, especially when you suffer very difficult moments in life, the loss of loved ones, loss of a job, maybe diff having difficulties as well uh, in a personal way. Know that you're not alone, that the Lord is always with you, and everything he has is, our, is yours. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great, and my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spur. So from east to west shall my I am a seminarian. The church needs compassionate and well-trained priests to help guide each of us through life. What inspires me, what draws me always to the priesthood is continue to see priests be a beacon of hope for other people. You can play a part in the education of these young men as they prepare for a life of service to others. I want to be that beacon of hope too, and it, it sets my heart on fire. To support our seminarians, make your gift at archchicago.org slash seminarianfund or call 312-534-7959.